quite a few years ago, um, I was having a problem with uh, injectors on my MR. So I built this uh, this uh, injector tester instead of buying one, which was very expensive. I ended up building one uh, out of a bottle jack and uh, some fittings and a Harbor Freight paint reservoir with a filter so you don't get any uh, dirt in the injectors. Uh, the bottle jack uh, was modified to instead of the piston coming up it was modified so it couldn't come up with a fitting in it it's all welded and uh, when you pump it up uh, when the injector finally hits its pop uh, pressure it pops so what I'm gonna do is I have a problem with this injector this is from a uh, Yanmar uh, uh, 1GM 10 diesel and uh, the engine wouldn't uh, I rebuilt the engine new rings and bearings and the problem is uh, when i went to try starting it would crank over but not uh, not start and i had a feeling the injector had a problem so i pulled it out put it on this tap app, test apparatus and and i'm going to pump it up the injector should pop around 1900 uh, psi so i'm going to pump it up right now and it should pop at 1900 i'm up over 15 and I'm over 2,000 and it's not popping. So there's a problem with the injector. So what I'm going to do uh, for the second half of this video, I'm going to uh, take the injector apart and see what the problem is. Right now I have, I think you may be able to see it, uh, I have two gauges. One, the first one is an analog gauge with uh, glycerin inside. The second one is a digital gauge with the battery is dead. So... It tells me the exact uh, pressure that it pops at. But I know it's not popping over 2,000 RPM. I mean, 2,000 PSI. So there's a problem with the injector. So at this point in time, I'm going to release the pressure. And what I do is this is normally how you, when you lower the jack, you would turn this. That reduces the pressure. So now I can take the injector, um, take the injector off of here and uh, take it apart. What I did do is I put a, uh, since I have diesel in the reservoir up here, I had to put a shutoff valve so it, the diesel doesn't run down and fill the cylinder up and then run out and overflow over here. So I have to shut this off so I don't get diesel running out of this fitting when I loosen it up. So I'm going to be pulling the injector apart and I'll be making a second or maybe third video and explaining what I'm doing with the injector, how to get it fixed. Yeah.